Welcome to a new vlog. This will be a rather short video because I will only be addressing a short subject regarding the Raiden RD 6006 output ripple noise. Back in vlog 284 where I reviewed that power supply, uh, I did measure the output noise but it was powered by a transformer at the input and um, that provided an almost ideal setup with the lowest noise possible. But in practice, if you are using the recommended switch mode power supply uh, inside the unit, things uh, may vary and uh, you might see a higher output noise level due to that switch mode power supply, which will add noise to the system. So in this video, I'm going to measure the output with that switch mode power supply installed inside the unit. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. I'm using the recommended N Triple V 400 watts 60 volts 6.6 amps rated power supply. This is what Ruideng officially recommends and sells. Uh, to use with their power supply kit. In Vollog 284 part 3 I took a look inside this power supply so I will link that video on screen if you want to check it out. I'm going to use a low inductance ground connection on my oscilloscope probe and I am measuring right at the output terminals of the power supply using my Rigol DS1054Z oscilloscope. If you remember in Vollog 284 part 2 the noise we were getting with the transformer was something in order of 40 millivolts peak to peak with no load and about 60 millivolts peak to peak with 2 amps load. And this is what I'm seeing with the switch mode power supply with no load. It's about the same value of 40 millivolts peak to peak, maybe a slight increase and maybe a different noise content but not by much. And this is the waveform with a 2 amp load, about 84 millivolts peak to peak here with a load and we observe this is an increase of 40% in noise level when compared to the uh, previous test. This is clearly a decent uh, switch mode power supply and even having 80 millivolts of peak to peak noise uh, on the output it's still a usable power supply depending on the application. Generally unless you are working with very low noise circuits this will work fine. The majority of people will be using uh, uh, this power supply to power their LEDs motors, ESP32 projects and so on. And all these will be running just fine as long as they have the required filtering capacitors on board. I can also recommend taking a look at the Gopher NPS1601 which I reviewed in Vollog 255. This power supply is much cheaper and has a lower noise output but with far less features implemented. In the end it all depends on what your requirements are. That was all for today. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week with a new video.